We're building a rocket from plans called the Vipox, and we're in the step where we're gonna glue on the engine pods. And I'll be right back and I'll show you how that's done. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. We're building a plan called the Vipox, and you can download this plan when you subscribe to our free easy newsletter, which we do once every other week. Uh, we also produce these videos that you're watching, and when you subscribe, you get the notification that these are available. There's 25 kits in the plan pack, so you want to be sure you subscribe to get that. We're building one of these rockets, and it's called the Vipox, and at this point, we've painted the rocket, and now we're going to glue on these simulated engine tubes. Now, these get glued on on each of the fins, like this. just like that. And the reason we painted them first is because we would never be able to get inside of these to paint inside of that and we want it to look nice. Um, I also painted these separately and to paint them I just stuck them onto a tube like this, uh, painted the outside and then on the inside I just used a paintbrush and some black paint to paint the inside since the uh, uh, surface is not so critical in there. You're not really going to see it and you want it to look nice and dark. Um, so I'm going to put these on here where they're supposed to go and then I'm just going to use super glue to glue them in place. Just like that. It has that really nice look to it. Okay. Now I'm going to use some thin super glue and because I'm using thin I'm going to use some eyeglass protection um, and I'm just going to gently put a drop of glue on each side and just let it wick down along the seam and I can see it right in here I can see that just a little bit of gloss in there and that means I know that it's wicking in there. Um, and I'm going to do the same on the inside of this. Oh, you got to be very careful. It wants to wick everywhere. Man, it's on my finger. Don't use that finger. <laughs> Not the one with the glue on it. Okay, so that's one, and the other ones are going to be just the same process. So I'm going to go ahead and do these, um, and then in the next video, we'll start putting the decals on. Now, the decals do not come with the plan pack, although you get the pattern sheet for them. Let me show you that real quick. Just there like that. But it's up to you to print them out. Um, if you want to buy them from us at Apogee, we do have them available. Um, just email us and we can give you that link where they are on the website. And it's all 25 as a set. Um, so you can do all of them. Um, so in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these out and we'll start applying them to the rocket. And we're getting pretty close. We just have to put in the parachute and attach the nose cone. Um, we do want to check uh, to make sure that the, the center of gravity is in the right spot. Um, that's why the shoulder is not glued on yet. But we'll do that in the next video too. So I'm Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.